everyone, my name is Shalice, also known as Mommy Trader here on YouTube. Hey and bestie besties, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here with me today. We are a family of five who is trying to achieve something called FIRE, which is financial independence, retire early. Basically, we want to just be financially free, okay? And we want to have the time necessary to really focus on doing the things we want to do, like start my husband's consulting company, focus more on building MT, things like that. So if you wanna know more about real estate, cryptocurrency, investing, NFT, I mean, I got all of the things here on the channel. I show real numbers. I actually do house tours as well. I do cryptocurrency updates and there's one coming soon. So stay tuned for that. So uh, investing for your kids, saving for your kids. I have a lot of resources up on my website, mt1finance.com to really help you to understand how to grow your money over the long term okay we want to close this wealth gap in order to do that we have to do it through education financial literacy and then actually putting the work in okay we actually have to open the account we actually have to invest in order to be able to close this wealth gap so if you want to know more subscribe like and share and join us until my returning investy besties i see you guys i do appreciate everybody who likes who shares my channel who mentions me in their videos who use the products i really really do appreciate you because without you there is no me again we are doing the one dollar a day investing challenge for august so this is our 11th sector month and the sector is materials and the company is the u.s steel stock and the v-a-w-e-t-f ticker symbol again i'm looking down because i have my notes and like i said i have all of the um, ETFs, all of the sectors, all of the stocks and one central location under my community tab. So just go to my community tab and scroll down and you will see it right there if you want to get caught up. OK, so I wanted to answer a question that I got when I did my fire video. So if you guys want a fire update or early retirement update where we are on our journey, check out the video somewhere up on the screen and I will have a direct link to it in the description box below. But someone asked me, you know, why so much in terms of an emergency? fund like I mentioned in that video we wanted to aim for $150,000 though if we can get somewhere between I would say like 100 to 150 we will be happy 120 is honestly a sweet spot but I like to aim high but again it was a really good question I figured let me make a separate video because it is a lot of money right that's a lot of money to keep in cash and an emergency fund so I wanted to just share three reasons why we have that goal now I, we did get that goal from our rich journey if you do not know who they are okay they are literally in my mind the goats when it comes to the fire movement their names are aman and christina and they live in portugal with their two daughters and they achieve financial freedom and what i love about watching them is that it's so nice to see representation people of color who actually were able to do something that i've never seen not even in my real life i know i do not know anybody who actually retired i do not know anybody who actually had a single stock i do not know anybody who actually had a pension or who just had a, a solid savings account besides my grandmother everybody always just struggled with money and with finance and to be able to come online and really use YouTube and social media for something really positive and encouraging, like seeing other people actually achieve something that you would think is so rare, you know, like you would have to come from money to be able to achieve this and to watch them. And then the many people who I've met on this journey as well, who don't come from money, who are working so hard to achieve their goals. I'm talking about Rochelle and Tanisha and Ina and um, Rebecca, um, Dave over at Hidden Freedom Investing just retired. You got Marcus. I mean, just so many people that are really on this. Tasha too. Just so many people on this journey trying to achieve something that we've never seen, <laughs> never experienced so that we can really change the face of wealth. More women, more minorities, more families, more people that don't come from good solid backgrounds able to kind of break through and really change the course of their lives. So again, that's where I got it from our rich journey. And I thought it was really, really great. So let's talk about the first reason why we want to have, you know, a hundred, let's just say a $20,000 emergency fund. Okay. It's because of security. Okay. You have to understand when we achieve fire, I will be 42 years old. 
So we have a 401k, we have an IRA and all that good stuff. But the caveat to that is that you cannot take that money out before 59 and a half. So we kind of think of it as our long-term future accounts versus our short-term future accounts. So again, when we think of security, we need to have like an extra layer of protection for us. If you go back and you look at the stock market, for example, this year, from January all the way to June, even a little bit of July, that's let's just say six and a half months of constant red. Every time you check the stock market, every time you heard it on the news, it was red, 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 okay? And keep in mind, yes, we have long-term investment accounts, but we also have like short-term future investment accounts. So these are taxable accounts like Robinhood and M1 Finance and Webull and things like that. But if our positions are down, I don't want to take that money out. I'm trying to take the money out when the market is red. So if the market is down the first six months of the year, I don't want to take the money out. So we need to have some type of capital from somewhere else. So we do have rental properties, which is great. But on the other hand, we need to have some other type of income. So I really love dividend income and dividend investing. And I do a lot of that in our taxable accounts. Why? Because this goes into the second reason why we do this, and that's liquidity, okay? So the great thing about having an emergency fund is that I can access the money like right away. So yeah, it's a lot in cash. Yes, you know, it's not keeping up with the pace of inflation. But again, if the stock market is down, I'm not thinking about inflation at that point. I'm thinking about, I'm retired. We need to pay our mortgage. We need to pay our light bill. We need to pay our utilities. So again, we want to think about strategy here. We want to think about, you know, playing chess versus playing checkers. You guys know I'm all about beating inflation, right? But on the other hand, we have a family. We're not single Pringles. <laughs> we have a family. We have a special needs son. There's things going on in my daughter's life. Like she's going to be going to prom and graduating, going to college. And we want to have money to be able to be a part and to celebrate those things things and those milestones with her. So having an emergency fund that can really help us weather through the downturns in the stock market is super important. We want to just be able to, if the market is red and we need to pay, you know, our utility bill, I can go to Capital One and just take out the money for the bill and pay it. And I can keep our investments in and wait. Because the thing is, when you are in a recession, sometimes recessions can last on average about 15 to 18 months. So can you imagine not touching your stocks and your portfolios, not withdrawing anything for 18 whole months? But if we had a solid emergency fund during our early retirement years, Oh my goodness. Talk about a peace of mind, which goes into the third reason why we have such a large goal for that emergency fund is peace of mind. Again, you have to look at your own background. You have to look at, you know, your family makeup and your family dynamic. I do not want to kind of live with the whole beans and rice type of method. We worked too hard for too many years to get to this point. We want to be able to maintain a certain lifestyle, which is why we're trying to achieve fat fire. But on the other hand, if for, you know, we just, the market we couldn't access, we're not selling our rental properties. What are we going to do? And again, I love having, you know, this liquidity available, like I mentioned, because I can go and access it whenever I want. I don't know if you guys know, but sometimes the stock market can be very stressful and having that peace of mind, like I can ride this out. I can ride this storm out because I have $100,000 in cash. Is it keeping up with inflation? No. Could the money be invested in the market? Yes. But this is my early retirement years now. I'm not going to be investing so heavily and so like aggressively during those years. Those uh, the uh, stocks that we have, the accounts that we have, and my husband and I have talked about this, will be transitioned into more conservative uh, companies and funds. But right now we, we are really aggressive with our investing and it's been working because, you know, we still have time to, you know, before we get to 42 years old, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, but yes, I do believe in, in protecting yourself. Okay. Having an emergency fund is like an insurance policy for your finances. Yes. Like I said, it's, I know, cause I know I'm going to get comments about it. It's it, all that money is not keeping up with inflation, but I'm not thinking about inflation when I'm actually retired because I, we achieved the goal that we had set out for ourselves. Now it's about maintaining ourselves during those years. We want to, we got what if you're talking about 42, you got 52, 62, and then let's just say add on the extra five years for 67. Okay. So you're talking about 25 years. Okay. <laughs> you have to be able to withstand 
anything that goes on. Yes, we'll have dividend income. Yes, we'll have interest income. Yes, we will have um, rental income. But again, if we want to like take money out of our HSA, do we want to do that if the market is down for a whole year? So this is why we want to have such a beefy emergency fund. Will it happen next year? No, it will slowly start to build it up over the next few years. But I'm a big fan of insurance policies because you just never know, right? You never know. And we are about making sure that our money long-term can sustain us and can continue to make more money on the back end for us. And the great thing about an emergency fund is that we're getting some interest. I mean, it's not a whole, whole, whole lot of interest, but it's a little interest. But again, I'd rather have all that money sitting there when we do achieve our early retirement number versus not having enough and then having to, let's say, sell some stocks in a bear market. We don't want to do that. We want to buy low and sell high. This, this is how the, the goats of the investing world, like Warren Buffett, like Peter Lynch, I mean, all these solid people who have been around for so many years this is how they do it and so again it's a, it's a strategy we're, we're using here um it's a safety net for us and again we we may even bump that up a little bit more again because of inflation right you got inflation that's so sky high imagine what things are going to cost in five years when we retire like gas i know gas is coming down a little bit but it's still high overall considering from you know last year but you got gas just to buy a car maybe to you know fix up your home maybe to go on a trip can you imagine how much things are going to cost so even having a nice you know like having that big number in our emergency fund is important because of inflation things are just going to cost more in the future and we want to make sure that we have more than enough money to cover ourselves remember it's an insurance policy against our entire finances that's how we're looking at this insurance policy folks okay sometimes it's not all about you know outpacing and, and growing growing making making money it's about being safe okay that's what we're trying to consider like we need to cover ourselves 25 years is a long long time now we will also have the income from a husband's side business but you guys know when you start your own company sometimes you have lull months now his industry is is really profitable he works in a biotech pharma type industry clinical trials so i mean it pays really well but you never know right it could be like just a down couple of months so what you're gonna do right and so again <laughs> to answer your question i hope i hope i did <laughs> because i really wanted to make sure i made a separate video about it because it is a lot of money like i'm a big fan of not keeping a whole lot of cash but when we achieve fire we view it as our work is done now it's about maintaining what we work so hard to create versus kind of, you know, grinding, if that makes sense to you guys. So leave me some questions down below. If you have any, um, when are you trying to retire early? Let me know. And if you are, you know, what are you thinking of in terms of emergency fund? It could be in terms of months or um, a dollar amount. But again, I'm hoping that that answered your question. If you have any um, other thing else you want to ask, let me know down below. Send me an email. I'll be more than happy to respond. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell notification button so that you don't miss a little. I'm going live at the end of this month. I have some new products and services coming out that I think you guys will love. So make sure you save your coins, okay? So that you, I'm only going to have like a limited amount of everything you're going to see in that live, okay? So make sure you stay tuned for that. And until next time, y'all already know. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye.